Good morning, folks. The top space weather alert is a massive plasma filament that we've been watching turn onto the Earth-facing disk. This thin, dark line represents a rope of charged matter suspended above the solar surface by magnetic forces. And these filaments can lift off as CMEs, and this one is definitely worth monitoring for an eruption. Bit of planetary geometry. The noteworthy positioning right now is the coming alignment of Venus, Mercury, and Mars. They are set to line up astride of the Sun from Earth's vantage point. Could bring an end to the all-calm conditions we see now. Things are calming here at Earth as well. Solar wind readings are steady, still a bit above average, but not enough to carry on geomagnetic instability. The rheometer and magnetometer still show the waning disruptions, along with the electron flux and low-energy proton bombardment. Solar flaring remains in low C range. The possible uptick with the sunspots has not yet occurred even with the rapid formation and growth event of the incoming group, from nothing to multiple times bigger than Earth in just 48 hours. Thus far it is not mixing magnetically but the positive blue spots are split so we can indeed give her a gamma class rating. Looking at Gong, we note the positive coronal holes up north departing our view and the negative coronal hole down south swinging in, becoming unblocked by blue coronal fields. Up top you see the departing dark positive openings and the dark patch incoming on the bottom is that negative incomer. We will enter negative influence on near Earth space today. Definitely some force associated with those holes. Couple article recommendations. Pleiades, a bit of controversy over her distance from our solar system, is muted with the best measurement to date, correcting a previous error. More intriguing to Electric Universe folks will be the filaments of gravel in Orion. The potential pre-planetary building blocks are far larger than we'd expected for this stage of system formation. Some images of note. Siding Spring is the comet here. We're only seven weeks from the close encounter with Mars where the coma and the Martian atmosphere will interact. Green gravity waves here amidst red sprites, a beautiful earth flare seen over South Dakota. The quaking has calmed down with minor rumbles around both South America and north and south of Iceland. Cristobal is at the edge of making landfall there where the volcano has calmed after a fissure opened up. Meanwhile, the lows at Europe have weakened with one system drawing up through the center of the continent making tonight's storm warnings. The top storm alerts on Earth tonight are back in the United States where a low has gained major force in the last 12 hours and will make tornadoes. Please do not ignore the weather if you live in these watch zones or even the surrounding areas. Need to correct a mistake from yesterday, I was thinking that low would stay north of New Zealand. I was wrong, the convergence slid south quicker than expected and indeed caused some flooding in the far tip of Northland. Hopefully relief is nigh. Folks, Thompson Rivers University is the next stop for the Mobile Observatory. We'll be giving a speech on the latest happenings at the Kamloops campus on September 2nd at 7 p.m. local time. Come out and see us. More info on those Earth flares I mentioned, including the Earth spots connected with them, can be found at suspiciousobservers.org. we got the global storm watches, current conditions, and shots of our star to close. at 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.20 a.m. local time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.